From WRAO News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus News Brief for Wednesday, February 10th. I'm David Crabtree. And before we get to the latest stories, we have a favor to ask. We're trying to get a better understanding of what you, the listener, wants to hear in this podcast. We have a survey, takes about five minutes to complete, and we would really appreciate it if you would do that. You can find it at WRAL.com slash coronapod. Again, that's WRAL.com slash coronapod. Now for the local headlines. We passed the grim milestone of 10,000 deaths in North Carolina, and it's a stark reminder of how dangerous this virus can be. North Carolina passed 10,000 coronavirus deaths on Tuesday, Governor Cooper acknowledging the somber milestone within seconds of beginning his briefing, which focused heavily on vaccine distribution and getting more shots into the arms of North Carolinians. The governor says the state will receive a 5 percent increase in vaccine shipments this week, something Dr. Mandy Cohen also says is a ripple down effect from the feds. I think that's why uh, Governor Cooper, as well as a number of other governors, has asked the Biden administration to give us more of a window into what does the, those allocations look like if there was to be a, a third vaccine so that we can start to plan in more concrete terms. Both Dr. Cohen and Governor Cooper say we could find out as soon as this week if and when the state will move to vaccinate those in Group 3. That includes teachers and other essential workers. And if you're looking to get your shot at Walgreens, you may have hit a block when the website opened on Tuesday. The company says the high volume of those looking to sign up knocked the site offline. Each participating store will receive about 100 doses. 313 stores are expected to receive doses statewide. And while more vaccines are a good thing, we can't forget about treatments. On Tuesday, we learned an experimental drug currently in trials shows promising signs of both preventing and treating COVID. I spoke with one of the lead researchers, Dr. Lisa Grolinski, about the findings and what they mean for putting an end to this pandemic. Dr. Grolinski, good to see you again. What's the big takeaway from what you've done there? Thanks for having me back. What's really exciting about this drug is that it's orally available, so it can be given to patients in an outpatient setting. You know, people don't need to be hospitalized. They don't need an IV to get this drug like a remdesivir currently or like the monoclonal antibodies. So we hope that this could be available to more people in a, a much simpler manner once it makes it through trials. With all the interest in the mutating variants, does this drug show promising signs in that regard? So we haven't tested it, but the mechanism of action should have nothing to do with those variants at all. This drug targets the way the virus replicates itself um, and those specific proteins in copying its genome. And the variants have to do with the spike protein, which helps the virus bind to and infect our cells. So it should not have any issue with the novel variants at all. I'm just amazed at all the research and the breakthroughs there. How long have you been working on this specific drug? So this specific drug we started working with before SARS-2 even became known to us. We had tested it with MERS and with SARS-CoV beforehand. And then when SARS-2 came out, we thought, you know, this is going to be really important. So we had to develop animal models, and that's part of what's in this paper. Um, but it works incredibly well. All right. The last question, the obvious one, when might we see this on the market? When might it be available for me and everyone watching? I would hope um, sometime later this year. It's been in phase two trials and now it's in combined phase two, three trials. And so, you know, it's being pushed forward. And so hopefully it can be one of those, um, you know, early use authorization drugs that becomes available to people pretty quickly. Dr. Lisa Grolinski with UNC, always amazing to talk with you and your team. Keep up the great work. Thanks for your Thank time you. tonight. We're working on it. For the Coronavirus News Brief, I'm David Crabtree.